Hey, I'm going to make this short and sweet if I can. If you guys are deciding on an inflator, I've got four lined up here. We're going to try the uh, Milwaukee, the Ryobi uh, inflator deflator, the Ryobi compressor, and the DeWalt. A uh, real quick overview, the DeWalt has the ability to plug up to the car. It's the only one that can do that. The rest take the batteries and that's it. Obviously the compressor you can run other tools on, <clears throat> that kind of thing, and get to a higher pressure. All these tires are set to zero and what we're going to do is inflate them to about 32 uh, no I'm sorry 31 psi from zero and the reason I'm doing that is because worst case scenario is you have to inflate a completely empty tire to at least enough to get you to uh, another gas station or something like that I think 31 could get you a, a good spot uh, I've seen some reviews on these where they don't like pressing the button or they time a basketball filling up um, I don't really care if it takes me five minutes or you know seven minutes to fill up a basketball <clears throat> so that's why I'm doing these tires if you're really worried about two minutes filling up a basketball then you know uh, watch those videos so anyway I'm gonna hit start on the timer it's a level playing field so just add a couple seconds to each one uh oh that one just turned off so right off the bat but you know they're gonna be close enough it's really just to see if they can do it
first one at 450. I'll let the tank build up. Seven minutes. All right, that is done. Looks like the battery is almost dead. At seven twenty. Eight minutes. All right, nine minutes and 30 seconds. So a couple takeaways from all this. Um, I'm trying to decide which one to put in my vehicle. Uh, the DeWalt here is on a one and a half amp hour battery. The uh, Milwaukee is on a 2.0. These are on four and four. So let's see the battery level. I don't see an indication on the DeWalt. And it, this is not mine either. So I really don't think there's any way to see exactly what the level is on the DeWalt. This says, this is a two amp hour battery. It says it has two bars. This one says it's still full. And the compressor is three of four. The compressor beat them by far. So I'm surprised that the Milwaukee edged out the other two. So. If you're looking for inflating the tires in the truck, I'm going to go with the Milwaukee uh, based on the speed and the size of it, it's, you know, and the other tools are small, good for cars. I hope this helps somebody. Um, they all pretty much about the same as far as ease of use, except for the compressor, which you have to sit there and hold down the, uh, the, the nozzle. So we'll see now if we can get any higher. All right, round two, we're going to go to 45 PSI. We stopped at about 9.35 on the Ryobi, so you just have to, actually I'll re reset it and we'll see what, so you can just add to the original times we have. So we'll start that. Go to 45.
Battery just went out. 418 from 31 to 45 on the 1.5. But it was just about to get there, so we'll, we'll count it. At 44, 44.7. That's pretty good. Okay. And this is off also with battery indicator. At 4.57. So... So from 31 to 45, six minutes. Okay, we'll stop that. So the DeWalt and the Milwaukee cut off right before 45. We'll count it. A few more seconds, they would have had it. Certainly enough to get you where you're going if, you're, if you've got high pressure tires, something like that. These are 32s. So which one to get? Well, basically any of them. Uh, the Ryobi takes the longest, but if you've got the batteries for it already, um, and it's definitely the cheapest uh, and it comes with an inflator if you notice when I'm checking these gauges the easiest one by far is the Milwaukee it's got a big display it's tilted at just the right angle if you have this sitting uh, like it's supposed to be you're not gonna be able to see it and the Ryobi is, is a tiny gauge so if I'm gonna put one of these in my car it's definitely gonna be the Milwaukee um, that being said if I only had Ryobi batteries it'd be the Ryobi if speed was an issue, it'd be this one right here, but you're sitting there holding that valve. I like to think that if I had a spare that was flat, I could hook that Milwaukee up uh, to the pressure, get in my truck, and just sit there in the safety of my vehicle waiting for the, the tire to fill up. So I hope this helps somebody.